Once again. We have uh, Volkswagen Crafter 2.0 TDI. We're gonna do a full service engine service on it. Here's all the parts that we have. So here we've got the engine oil 5W30, and we've got a fuel filter here. These are the part numbers for different brands. And then here we have the pollen filter, and these are the part numbers for the different brands of those. And here we have the air filter, and again, part numbers there. And here we have the oil filter. And we have some engine flush. Now the engine is already warm. It's already been driven. So we're just gonna open the oil cap. And I'm gonna slap two of them in there. Now I'm going to start the van and we'll let it idle for 10 minutes and we'll give it a couple of uh, small revs here and there just to let that uh, circulate. Okay now that it's run for a while we're going to take the oil cap back off. So we've jacked the van up slightly and put an axle stand under there. And we've just put some matting down to lie on and we've got our oil pan here. We're just going to push that under the van. Just use a bit of brake cleaner for any oil we spill. Come underneath the van here. We've got a 19mm socket on the sump plug. Just there. Get a 19mm socket on that. And we'll get it open. Get a small extension on it, it makes it easier to turn. And we'll have to get ready to pull it out of the way really fast. There we go. And we're going to let that fill up. You can see how cold it is there, the oil is actually steaming. Finally found a decent pair of reusable waterproof gloves. That's the numbers there in them. You can wipe them down and reuse them. While that's draining, as it's come to an end, we're just going to put another litre in here. Just to flush it all through. And that should be coming right out the bottom. So we've still got the sun plug open. You should see slight colour there change in the oil as it's flushing most of the dirt out. Anything that's lodged at the bottom. See there we've got this van jacked on the passenger side and the sump plug is on this direction so it's always good to jack it from the opposite side so the uh, sump is tilting this way. When that's all drained off we can put the sump plug back on and just give it a clean off some brake cleaner. Okay, we've put the oil cap back on. Next step, we need to find the oil filter, which is down the back of the engine. So, we're gonna unclip this. There's a little clip underneath. Press it, and you can push it up. And we'll show you that. It's just here. So you press it in, and you can push it up. And we'll take off the sensor plugs. I need to take my gloves off for that one. We've got another one of these over here. Let's push and slide up again. So that's off. And you pull that grey tab out and then press it upwards and that comes off. Use a 7mm to open this air inlet pipe. Just loosen it off a little bit. And we can pull it off. Now we should just grab either side of these plastic handles here, just give them a good pull up, just like that, pull this pipe up, now all of this should come out in one piece, just like that, that's what that looks like, now if we come back down to the back end, just down here we have the oil filter 
It's that big plastic nut there. And we'll use a 32mm socket on an extension. And we'll just slide it over there. We should be able to feel where it's going on. And that's it, we're on it. Just get our ratchet on there. And give it a few turns. You get it open. Once we've got that fully open, it's a good idea to just leave it sit for 30 seconds. Just let any of the oil drip out of it. And we can pull out our socket. And then we get our hand right down there. And just pull it out. We've made a little bit of a mess there. We'll get some brake cleaner on it. And that's what that oil filter looks like. We changed that uh, less than 10,000 miles ago. So uh, we'll get a new one in there. We'll just pull right off there. We just slip the new one on. And you should hear it click so it's in place. Here you've got one o-ring, rubber ring there where I'm feeling. And then we've got another one here and another one here. So one, two and three. Here's the replacement o-rings just to uh, put back on there. Got a spectator. Last time we just slipped the oil filter back down where it, where it came from there. And we'll tighten that back up. The filter is back in place. We'll just spray a bit of brake cleaner just down around where it was just to get any of that little drips off. That should be fine there. Just slide the air filter box back onto those little rubber grommets right there and line it up to these and just push and push and then the same over here. Just push that in place and that's all done. Put the live terminal back on and the oil oil filter uh, oil fill point. Let's click that back in place. Now we can get our little plugs here. Let's plug them back in until they click. Hear a little click as you push each one in. That's it. Put the air inlet pipe back in place. And we'll spin this back around so we can get the 7mm back on there. Tighten that back up. We have a few screws going around the air box. So we're going to open these. T25 torque bit. Just get on and open all of these. We've got all of those open. We can just lift up the air box and pull the filter out. We have the old filter here. Open some of the panels. You can see what's inside, how much dirt's in there. Got the replacement filter in there. Slot the top back on there. Just tighten back up all these screws. Now that's done, we move on to the cabin filter. Right over here. Press down, pull it out, and that's out. Inside of a cabin filter you'll usually have an arrow there, pointing which direction the air goes in. So we just slide that back down in place there, where the old one was. Just push it back underneath them notches. That's all in there. That's all done. Now we're back to the engine oil. I'm just filling this up. Should take about seven and a half litres or so. I'll pull the dipstick out and check the uh, dipstick, wipe it and clean it. Okay, so we've cleaned off the dipstick, re-dipped it, and you can see there she's perfectly level there. You've got those little crisscrosses. It should sit right about near the top of that. Of course, when you're checking the engine oil, make sure the jack is fully down and the van is level. Now we're going to raise the van back up. Now we can come underneath and have a look at the fuel filter, which should be just up here. First, we'll open this uh, drain point anyway. Here we have the new replacement filter here. You can see just what it looks like. So it slots into a little bracket there, and you got inlet and outlet uh, fuel connectors. So basically, if you hit it from underneath, it'll come up and come off of the bracket and it'll drop down a little bit there. On the fuel uh, brackets, there's these little push clips, press that in 
and pull it, pull the pipe off. Now we've got the new filter on. Uh, these push, these will just push straight in. You don't need to press anything; just push them together, and then you can just slip the uh, filter back up onto the clip housing there where it sits. Fuel filter is done. I'm gonna get back inside, switch ignition on, wait for 10 seconds, and just cycle that three times or four. We've got a diagnostic computer. You can switch on the transfer pump, which will fill the filter up. I wouldn't suggest um, pouring the old diesel from your old filter back into the into the new one. Uh, that kind of defeats the purpose of putting a new filter on. But we've activated the the pump here just to fill it up. But uh, pretty sure you can do it just by switching your ignition, cycling it three or four times for about ten seconds each time. So we'll press stop on that, and if we go back to the uh, engine of the van start up now if you've left any air in the system it might run for five or ten seconds and then stall out so we'll see if that happens and if all is good it should be fine it should just keep running and I'd let it run for at least a minute and that's all good so we can switch it off that's the service all done Coolant is already at a decent level and we're going to fill up our windscreen washer as it's got a message for it on the dash there. But that's it. Other than that, that's the whole service complete. VW Crafter 2 litre TDI.